All right, so something that you're going to find you do over and over again with SpriteKit is need to enumerate through all of the child nodes with name in the scene. And this way, well, it's, it's kind of hard to tell you exactly what you'll why you'll do that, uh, but you kind of know when you get there that you got to do this. So let's create a function that's going to do it. And I'm going to write in here func, and we'll just say, um, uh, find child by name and do something. How's that for being vague? And uh, all right, so inside of here, I mean, there is a couple things we could do. We could we could put the actual uh, node in here, like an SK node to pass in. Um, we could also just identify it by name. I think that's going to be easier to start with. So let's just call it the variable that we're going to use now is going to be called the name when it's inside of this function and we are going to specify that this is going to be a string. So do your opening and closing brackets and now when we want to call this we're going to pass inside of here whatever string it is at the time. Now that could be a variable too but for right now let's just hard code in uh, player. Okay so we want to go through here and find the player. All right now we've already seen how to do it like this right self child note with name. Okay but couple cases here. You might have multiple instances of player. Uh, probably not if it's the main player in a game, but let's say we were doing something with all the stars in the background of the sky. All right, in that case, you might have more than one of them, and it's perfectly acceptable to have more than one star with the name star, okay? Uh, also, too, uh, this, the, the code that we're going to use here is going to make it so that you can uh, iterate through a children of other nodes as well. So if our player was actually inside of another um, object, so for example, if I went over here, and by the way, I did make this guy a little bit smaller, and I had, uh, let's get that out of there, if I had this, right, we'll just call it parent for right now, and my player was actually inside of parent, the code that we're going to write in a moment is still going to find this player and he's going to be able to do whatever. Uh, this is also true with um, SK reference nodes and that's a new thing that you can do in Xcode 7 and let me just get rid of this for right now. Chop that out of here. Uh, I could go and create a new file. And I'll do this really fast. You're going to choose a sprite kit scene. You can do this under um, iOS resource or under Mac OS resource, doesn't matter. Sprite kit scene, and we'll just call this player reference, or just ref, how about that? And uh, what I could do is grab this guy, put him right inside of here. Still questioning whether or not pasting works. There it is. All right, so that is working. And We've now got a reference uh, to our player that we can just basically pull into other scenes. So for example, I could take this and put him over here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh wait, you know what? I think I need to save this before I try to do anything else with it. All right, save both files. So do this one more time, grab that, and there you go. You can see that we've got and now a reference node in here. Now you might, you probably wouldn't want to do that with the player, but uh, for things like maybe uh, some level artwork that you're going to reuse over and over again, this works great. So think about it. You could you could kind of reshow the same pit area of a level, uh, you know, five or six times and just kind of drag them all out there. All right. So right now we've got a reference node, and, and in both cases, we've got a, something called player and player over here. So the code that we're going to write is going to be self dot enumerate child nodes with name and it's going to give you all this other stuff over here just go ahead and clip that out well, get rid of that and then you're going to do a quote uh, forward slash star and that's important because if you just did star which you might be familiar with using before it's not going to iterate through those reference nodes so put that in there and then doo -doo -doo, we're, we're going to write node stop in and I'll explain that in just a little moment uh, what we're gonna do now is write if node dot name is equal to the name we know that we found our player and we can do whatever we want inside of here 
if you wanted to stop iterating through all the children, so for, for example, you found one player and you just didn't want to do anything to the next one, you could write stop dot uh, memory equals true. And of course, you'd actually want to put that uh, inside of here, you know, when you'd actually identified somebody with uh, the name player. Okay, but uh, to make sure to, to kind of prove that this is working, what we would do now is we could write node dot alpha, we could change the alpha of it equals uh, zero. Well, let's actually make it 0 0.5 so we can still see the characters. And strange warning. <laughs> But anyway, uh, you can see obviously they're alphaed out a little bit. I wonder why it's telling me that postfix is reserved. I have no clue. Uh, let's try 0 0.1 to just kind of prove that and that it magically go away. Yep, it sure did. And then obviously, so now they're both uh, alphaed out over that way. Uh, one thing you might want to do when when you're enumerating through children is uh, what we did up here, where we're going to say. Well, because there's only very few properties that you can write after node dot, okay? Only the ones that are gonna affect SK, SK nodes. So if you tried to do something like set the texture of a SK sprite node, you're not gonna be able to do that because technically what we found here are just nodes, okay? Um, now, you, there's a lot you can do. You can reset their position and things like that. But what you might need to do is then say, do exactly this really. Say if let uh, some sprite node equals and then you're just going to put node as sk sprite node. Then in that case, uh, we can then write some sprite node dots. Uh, so for example, you've got your texture property now, and you could set the texture to something else. That would be sk uh, texture image named. And uh, what's the texture we could use? Let's see. I'm a little hesitant to. Here, let's make it be the spaceship. Okay. Well, oops. We'll see if this will work. Uh, one thing we would need to do first, though, is because those are animating, we're gonna have to say some sprite node dot um, remove all actions. Okay, and I think this should do what I want. We'll find out in just a moment. And sure enough, I ended up uh, converting them all to spaceships <laughs> uh, and and just to actually prove that this doesn't work let's see yeah see the animation overrides you setting a uh, new texture for it but point is really that you can just do anything now and you can you've safely cast that as a, an SK sprite node so you know again let's just put in here 0 0.9 right okay Build it one more time, make sure everything's running fine. And it is.